What's up YouTube? What up friends and fam? It's your boy Kenny Lucas back at it with another YouTube video. Let's get right into it. Uh, what's going on Panama? Anybody from Panama? Any connections in Panama? Let me know. Uh, I want to link up with people this time when I get out of the country. You know what I'm saying? It's, I think it's important. It's just like a fun way to travel. And you never know. One of y'all watching my videos, maybe y'all here from Panama, come over, we play some Xbox or some shit. Uh, or play some soccer, you know what I'm saying? I can, I can crash on the couch for a little bit. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I mean, if somebody does have a, a rental situation that's from the channel, that'd be dope as fuck. I'll rent a little guest house or some shit, you know what I mean? Um, but that's my plan, man. I'm coming down to Panama in a little bit here within the next couple weeks, definitely by August the latest. And um, going there mainly for medicinal purposes. And that's because of my belief that in America here, I'm receiving and thinking on a medicinal standpoint of this type of medication. But once we take a trip down to Panama, there's a whole different other assortment of medication going on that's different than here, that's far less expensive than here and in my belief I think it's the right way to practice medicine you know what I mean this is just my belief um, <clears throat> through my research through my talking to people and whatnot and the next step for me is just you know I'm going for a three-day trip to check out you know what I mean if this is really worth all the hype that people have been talking about uh, not that really people talk about it it's just the research I've done for it you know what I mean like God has led me to research this shit and get it down right because you know I've been working with myself working with a couple others and I want to get people involved in the hormonal replacement therapy space but me personally I am not going to tell anybody to do what I do um, at this point in time because my education isn't enough to speak on it completely wholeheartedly like, at this point, if I told somebody to do this or do that, I'd just be giving you my advice at this point. And I don't want to just give advice. I want to give, like, experienced advice, educated advice. You know what I mean? I do have some education towards the background of hormonal replacement therapy through my own body, through some research I've done. But I want to get it from, like, a legitimate doctor doctor i'm sitting down face to face maybe take some classes down there whatever it takes because the end goal not even end goal the goal from this trip is to set up this isn't gonna happen overnight you know what i'm saying anybody that thinks a fucking company happens overnight is a fucking lunatic um including yourself don't put your pressure on yourself like that so what i'm doing going down there talking to some doctors whatever then I'm gonna research down there. Could I myself, Kenneth Lucas, set up a hormonal replacement therapy education center for Americans to come visit or people around the world to come visit? Any countries that allow you to come visit uh, Panama and also receive medication while you're there. And more importantly, bring that medication home back with you. This is something that I've never thought about or even you know, thought about doing until I started doing my research on medication and why people get surgeries out of the country and shit like that. And the reason why people go out of the country mainly is because the doctors are practicing something in that country that this country doesn't practice yet. And, um, that's just all it really is. And plus, most countries in this world are a lot cheaper when it comes to medical costs. Um, <laughs> and you won't believe this. I was watching one YouTube video, which I want to I wanna say is true. The guy seems real and everything, like just making YouTube videos about it. And he said when you go to the hospital there in Panama, you go to the hospital, tell them your condition... He said it's anywhere from $1 to $30 for an emergency hospital visit. And he even gave the example that his wife needed some sort of surgery. I don't know the extent of the surgery, but I think it was like a 24-hour type, like overnight type shit. And um, 
she was in and out for 30 bucks or 20 bucks. I'm like, what the fuck? She got surgery and all she had to do was pay $20. I was like, what the fuck? You can't get that in America for no type of surgery. The minute they do one stitch, it's like $500, $5,000, whatever the fuck it is. Whatever they want to charge you. And it's like America's healthcare system is so much price gorging like a motherfucker. Like, like not even price gorging compared to anything I've ever done or anybody else I've, I've known personally has ever done. It's like price gorging like that fucking bottle of medication or that vial of this or vial of that costs two dollars to make and they're selling it for fucking six thousand dollars a bottle or a thousand dollars a bottle or three hundred dollars a bottle i'm like that's so fucked up man like we're trying to get better as species we're trying to get better right like and then in our own country we're making each other dumb or attempting to by convincing the media is trying to convince you that this medication does it and this medication does that but really they're teaching the wrong thing they're teaching you the wrong fundamentals of what mental health is mental health is about addressing your core 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 which your core of human existence has a lot to do with hormones has a lot to do with fucking hormones like the fact that the matter is i've grown up with you know on and off uh, depression, anxiety, whatever you want to call it. I've grown up with people who have struggled it themselves. You know, people say it's a hereditary disease sometimes. I think it's environmental uh, more so than hereditary. But um, anyways, n nobody, uh, like I've known, you know, 10 people personally have gone to the doctor, say, for depression. Not one of them has ever told me, oh, my doctor is going to have my hormonal levels checked. He's going to have my blood work done. He's going to get my vitamins levels checked. He's going to get this or that checked. Like, nobody does that. Let me, get, let me check my stem cells. Nobody does that. Let me check the consistency of my blood and my heart and all this. Because this is what mental health is stemming from because it's fucking up your hormones. Which, what fucks up your hormones is exactly what I just said, is your environment... And your environment is who you live with, what you do, your actions, what you eat. Are you eating pesticides all the time and all this. Like a lot go into affecting your hormonal levels. And I want to go somewhere where it is illegal to throw these fucking pesticides on your food. It's illegal to do this and do that. That's okay to do in America because I want to go somewhere they actually care about the people. They want them to do well. They want them to recover. And a lot of this is happening in Panama right now. Um, and another new act, I don't know how new this is, but they're doing stem cells. Like, it's not stem cell research anymore. It's stem cells. We're healing the fuck out of people with it. Like, Tony Robbins went down to Panama. He's the one that really put me on to Panama uh, medication. I watched his interview with uh, Logan Paul. And he said he had this condition where he couldn't, lift up his shoulder so i think he got in a snowboarding accident or something watch logan paul's podcast with tony robbins if you want to know but he you know couldn't lift it up like past there to my understanding or remembering his story and then you know he had no mobility of a bunch of doctors in this country were telling him hey man like you're done like your shoulder's fucked there's nothing we can do for you and then Tony tells the story how he went to like five to ten different doctors. He's huge on getting second opinions, as I am too. Um, so he got a bunch of second opinions, five or ten of them, whatever. And then his research through second opinions led him to Panama, where some guy told him, hey, this guy in Panama is doing stem cells, and this thing could heal it. He said it went from, in America, the doctors told him, that he'll never be able to lift up his shoulder like this anymore, right? Never be able to throw a football, whatever. Then he goes down to Panama. The doctor looks at him. He said, hey, it'd be better in a couple of days. Like, you'll be able to leave in a week. You know what I'm saying? Tony Robbins said he got a couple injections of fucking uh, stem cells. And these stem cells healed his condition within a matter of days. He said after the second injection, he was starting to feel like almost 100%. He said he, after the third injection, I think that's all it was. Like, then he's good to go. Like, so I'm like, so if they're doing that for uh, shoulder injuries and shit like that, I'm like, I got to head down there and see what they're doing for mental health. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, I, I, I can not combat, but, like, I'm living with mine or, 
you know, I, I am thriving in a lot of different categories. And, you know, it's, it's just an equal balance, you know. One thing I don't have balanced out is, you know, my hormonal replacement therapy proper. proper. You know, everything's prescribed to me, but realistically, it's an online clinic and none of us are required to see the doctor in person. And America's sketchy as fuck when it comes to medication that actually works. So I'm going to a country to visit that has medication that actually works and people encourage you to take the medication that actually works and the government's all about it and it's legal and I can bring it back home to my, uh, my country. And um, yeah, get out there and travel the world, man. It's like, to me, it's like life's way too short to cage yourself in in one town. You know, a lot of us, we that's what we do. We cage ourselves in to one town, one city, one state, one country one doctor for the rest of our life and we never really go explore anything else and i just think it's time for us to go explore to spread our wings to go worldwide with it you know whether that means whatever that means to you i you know like i just think it's the fun the funnest thing in life is traveling i really believe life is fucking traveling and the thing is this if you can go to another country travel there get your med medication have a good time, learn some new shit about medication and about your condition, while the trip within itself and the medication will pay for itself, plus give you back some, meaning that you're gonna save money, you're gonna save time. You're not gonna have to deal with people's bullshit here, doctors, you know? Uh, not all, all doctors are bad, but I believe that American medicine is fucked up. Like, it's just not true. It's like a, based off a bunch of lies, and people are continually to believe these lies that medication in America says or does, and they keep running with it, and they wonder why their vibe is off. It's like, y'all are good people, but you need to listen to your boy, man. So I'm trying to change the world with this shit, man. That's why I'm out here making these videos. Like, who knows when I'm gonna go viral and shit like that. It might be today, it might be when I die. I don't care, it's like, I want people to know this shit. I don't care if it's now or in 500 years. I love you guys. That's why I do it, man. And, uh, yeah, keep coming back to my videos and things popping, man. Watch life, man. Watch life happen now.